Hello, uh, my name is Chan. I'm from Cisco Networking Academy. Today we're going to talk about the assignment that you're going to do for this semester. Alright? Uh, so, this is the assignment. Uh, two person in a group. You download a packet tracer file. or put everything up in the Google Drive with a link. So, this is the router to router configuration. All the router is connected to every single router in the mesh topology. Then uh, the router to switch connection will look like this. All right, this is a router. Each router is connected to three different switches directly. All right, and then uh, this one is the switch to PC connection will look like this. Okay, so there's two lecture group, Doctor Ng lectures group. Uh, the switch to PC connection will look like this. All right. Uh, where else in uh, Mr. Chan lecture group? The PC to switch connection look differently. So this will prevent student from copying between each topology. All right. So even though you copy, you have to make some adjustment. All right. And this is, this is, may be a massive adjustment in terms of the VLAN that you need to configure alright so it's different huh? between lecture group uh, the assignment is slightly different huh? okay then uh, let's look at here alright so then we talk about the IP addressing for router 1 the last digit of the IP address will be 1 router 2 will be 2 switch 1 will be 6 Switch 4 will be 9, PC 1 will be 11, Server 1 will be 21 until 26. This will be the IP addressing scheme, alright? We don't want you to simply give your own IP address, so make the marking complicated, make the headache, alright? Uh, make the examining headache, alright? So we have few hundred students, so we have to fix a lot of things, alright? Uh, so if it's an IP v6 address, the IP the last digit will be 1 for router 1 and so on it's clearly stated in this documentation ok then uh, for the IP addressing you can see here and the description here is shown here like this ok so let's say uh, let's zoom it up bigger let's say uh, this is the end node ok this segment is from PC to router so the prefix given is 200.1 so follow to 200.1 so this is the uh, router 1 network ok so will be 1 will be network 1 ok router 1 network ok so if it's a router 2 network you can see a uh, router 2 network alright you can see router 2 the first network will be 2 the second network will be 22 ok alright uh, the first network will be 2 ok because this router 2 network you can see router router uh, ok router 1 network will be 1 ok Bec another thing is there is no hub in the topology uh. this hub is to represent that uh, that the network that means that the PC and the server is the same network therefore we put a hub there but in the real topology there is no hub this is just to illustrate that it is the, in the same network ok let's say router 1 is connecting to router 2 the last digit will be dot 1 dot 2 ok then the IP address for second digit will be 12 1 2 ok 1 and 2 ok so if uh, there is a router connection between uh, router 2 and router 3 so it, the IP address will be 200.1.23.2 here and 23.3 here so with this IP addressing scheme there will be no confusion as to how you're going to number the IP addressing alright for IPv6 it will follow like this uh, if it's uh, router 2 connect to router 3 it will be 2000.02.3 alright uh, dot dot three and here two dot dot three dot three okay 
So this is the IP addressing given. Similarly, for uh, the IPv6 address for the end segment, okay. Uh, so this is the IP addressing, okay. Then each of the group, uh, they are given a spanning tree topology. Basically, we'll circle out. We'll choose one of them so that you cannot copy each other, okay. Then we will ask you to set uh, one of these. We're going to blank it. All right. Uh, we're going. You have to set maybe switch one as the root, switch two as the secondary root. Uh, then also uh, you have to configure some application like DNS and email server, and we will give you the domain name. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, let's look at here. Okay. Then uh, you'll be given a sample topology. Each one will have a different topology. Uh, there's multiple set. I think more than 10 set. Okay. So uh, this one will be a sample topology. Okay. Sample topology. All right. Let's. This is the outline. Okay. Of the of the assignment. Okay. We can close this one. All right. So each one of you will be given a handout like this for Mr. Chan group. Uh, will be given a handout. We, some of you will get IPv4, some will get IPv6. Then you will be given a prefix, and some will do RIP, some will do multi-area OSPF. And this one will be the topology. Uh, bear in mind, uh, we have fixed the port. Uh, which port is connecting to the server, which port is connecting to the PC, you should follow it accordingly. Okay, and some of them are sub interface like this one. So you need to do the switching lab properly before you can do. Okay, we have circle it. So your layer 2 topology will look like this. And this one will be the root switch. And this is the domain name. Okay, and some marking scheme is available given here. So uh, we also will give you a packet tracer file that you can download. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Ng packet tracer file, all right, for Dr. Ng group, all right, for Mr. Chan group, uh, you will download this one. This is the file, all right. Okay, so in this file, you cannot remove any devices, you cannot add any link, you cannot disconnect, or you cannot add any devices. You have to configure from this file. No need to withdraw anything, just configure only. Just configure only, okay? Configure and save. Make sure you save on every router and what? And uh, save the file. Every switch and every router you must save, alright? Then, what else? Huh? Okay, all the ports are shut down. You only need to turn on the ports that you need to. Let's say you've been given. Uh, Let's say you've been given uh, this topology, all right? Let's say you've been given this topology. So in this case, uh, these two crossover port, you don't have to enable it, uh, just remain shut down, okay? If not, it will affect your topology. Uh, let's say you have a router. The routing topology is like this. Router, router 1 is not connecting to router 3, isn't it? So router 1 and router 3 So you don't You just remain This port will remain shut down Okay So you have uh, Plenty of time to do it Okay Any question uh, You can always email me My email uh, Cisco MMU at gmail Okay Alright So we give you plenty of time To do the assignment Okay Alright See you. Thank you.